Hello students, uh, Mr. Dana Hauer here. Today I want to teach you how to use the equation editor in Google Docs in order to make a, a cleaner, better representation of our equations when we're trying to show them in a digital format like on Google Docs. And so uh, I've got a couple of example problems for us to do. Both of these are going to involve uh, dimensional analysis, which we're going to, of course, be using a lot in our chemistry class. And so we'll just jump right into this. Uh, our first question is we want to convert 125 inches into feet. And I'm not going to go through the dimensional analysis part of that because we've already covered it. I just want to show you how we could represent this problem uh, using the equation editor in uh, Google Docs. And so the first thing that we'll do is come down here to where we want to insert our equation. And we're going to click on the insert menu. And you'll see about halfway down there's an equation tool. When we insert that, we're going to notice a bunch of tools come up here. So we have the ability to put in symbols of multiple kinds here. Um, and this is really the math operations that we're going to be using mostly. And of course, the fractions part and then the exponents and subscripts part we'll be using quite a bit in this. And so but there's a lot of other functions you might be able to use for other classes. So we'll start off by putting, oops, I lost it there. Let's insert that equation again. We'll go ahead and start off with our number that we want to start with. And we just type that in on the keypad, 125 inches. We make sure to include our units. And remember, in dimensional analysis, we're really just multiplying a bunch of numbers together, and a lot of those conversion factors are fractions. And so I'm going to go ahead and space a couple of times and put X on my keyboard for multiplication. You can also use the multiplication symbol up here, but it's just as easy to click X for multiplication. Uh, now, you'll notice I clicked off of my equation, and those tools went blank. So if I ever do that, I can always click back on it and use my arrows to toggle around within the equation editor. Um, I'll play, press a space a couple more times. And now in order to do this conversion, I need to put in the conversion factor, but I want to put it in as a fraction. And to, to do that, we're going to come to the math operations on the equation editor toolbar and click on the A over B symbol. And that's going to set us up a fraction that we can put in here. Um, one way we can toggle between the top and the bottom of the fra fraction or numerator and denominator is by using our arrows. So by pressing my left and right arrows, I can go back and forth between those. And we're going to use that a lot. You can also click around with your mouse, but sometimes that doesn't work as well as just using our um, arrows as we move around, okay? Uh, and up and down don't work as well. We want to use the left and right arrows on that. And so for this conversion, um, I want inches on the bottom and I want feet on top. And so I can type in one foot on the top. And then again, I'm going to use my uh, right arrow here to toggle down to the lower portion of the fraction. And that's where I'm going to want to put my inches. So we know 12 inches is equivalent to one foot. Once I have my fraction the way I want it there, I can hit my right arrow again, and that's going to take me out of the fraction part of this equation. And we can't see the, um, the, the cursor right now, but it is actually just to the right of that fraction. And, um, and so now I can hit equals right on my keyboard, and we can plug in the answer to that, which is going to be about 10.4. And if we're paying attention to sig figs, that's good. 10.4, um, and we'd have feet for our response here. Now you'll notice that the um, fraction is fairly small, so if you would like to change the uh, size, the font of this, and make it a little bigger, we can just select that whole thing once we have it in and increase the font size to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's a pretty simple one-step problem, but what if we have multiple steps that we need to put in? So here I have another example, convert 64.0 grams of oxygen gas to molecules of oxygen gas. This is going to involve a little bit more formatting because there are more pieces to this equation. And so again, we're going to click down here and click on, go to our insert menu, insert an equation, and that's going to bring up the equation editor for us. And as always, we'll start off with our first number, which is 64.0 grams couple of spaces. I like to put a couple of spaces between the multiplication symbol just to make sure that it's clearly separated from the units. So I hit X for times, space a couple of times, and now our first conversion for this is going to be to go from uh, grams to moles. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a fraction to do that here. 
And so uh, I'll start with the bottom here. On the bottom, I'm using my right arrow to get to the bottom. I want to put grams in here. So the conversion factor is that uh, 32.00 grams of oxygen. Now I want to subscript the two on my oxygen. So in order to do that, I'm going to come back up here to my math operations and I'm going to um, have it format the X to A. So it'll include a subscript here. And so I'll click on that and I can click my uh, capital O for oxygen. And now to get to the subscript part, I need to hit my right arrow one more time. Watch my cursor as I do that. Okay, it went to subscript and I can put in my two now. So that's uh, nicely formatted with our units and our molecule of oxygen there all formatted appropriately on the bottom. Um, I'm going to hit my left arrow to get back up to the top. Okay, you can also click with your mouse if you want. Uh, and now I'm going to put moles on the top. So one mole is equivalent to 32.00 grams of oxygen. And again, I want my oxygen to be O2 with the subscript. So after I put in the mole, I'm going to come up here and use the X to the subscript A button capital O, uh, use my right arrow again to get to the subscript and put the two in. All right, so that uh, fraction of this dimensional analysis problem looks great. We need to go ahead and move on to the next fraction we're going to put in. And I'm using my right arrow again until I get to the end of the bottom part. And I click one more time. And now I'm off the fraction, but I'm still in the equation editor. Space that out once or twice. And we're going to do times because remember we're multiplying some fractions together here. And we'll go ahead and add in our next conversion factor now. We'll come up to math operations. We'll put in that fraction. Um, and on the bottom, so I'm going to click my um, right arrow to get to the bottom. Uh, I know I want to put moles on the bottom. So one mole. And once you get used to this, it goes pretty quick. I'm going to use the X subscript, so capital O, I use my right arrow to get to the subscript 2, and then I'll use my mouse to click back up here on the top. And on the top here, um, I want to put 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of oxygen, because one mole is equal to Avogadro's number. So we'll go ahead and type that in, 6.02, and um, times with an X, 10. Now, here's the part where instead of putting the 10, I want to subscript a number. So I'm going to actually backspace that out. I'm going to come up here to my equation editor, and now I'm going to use my superscript option, x to the b. So we'll click on that, 10, and again, to get to the superscript part, I'm going to click my right arrow, right arrow, and that's going to be the 20 to the 23rd to get out of the superscript and back into the um, upper part of the fraction I'll just hit my right arrow one more time and we'll put a space there molecules of or I guess you don't need to put the of and I want O2 again and I want that formatted correctly so I'll come here and I'll use my subscript capital O right arrow to get to the subscript and we'll punch in the two Okay, so again, uh, a few more pieces of the formatting, but when you look at this, it just looks super clean, very easy to read, and this is the kind of formatting we want to see whenever you're doing your work in a digital format. Now, I need to put what this is equal to, so I'm going to go ahead and use my right arrow again, and that'll take me to the bottom, and I'll toggle all the way over to the end of this equation. Space a couple of times, equals sign, oops, wrong button. And now we can put in the answer here, um, which is going to be 2.00 um, Oh, I didn't do that right. Hold on one second. Okay, so that's going to be uh, 1.20. And we're going to put in times. And again, I want to format that um, superscript for my 10 to the 24th is the answer here. So we'll come up to equations or um, the equation tools, put in the superscript format 10. And I press my uh, arrow to the right one time and we'll put in the 24th. I'll press it over to the right one more time, space, and then we can add our units. Uh, I'm gonna put molecules. And again, I want that superscripted, subscripted two. So I'll put that in and we'll do a shift O for capital oxygen, right arrow to get to the subscript and two. 
right. So you can see, uh, and I don't like this is a little bit small. So again, I'm just going to highlight that whole thing and I'm going to increase the font a little bit. Uh, so this is a very clean and easy way to format your work whenever you're working in a, digi a digital format. And anytime you're putting equations in and showing work um, on uh, Google Docs, this is the way that we would like you to do that. All right. Good luck. Have a great day and score rich.